In this video, we'll be talking about all of these free resources for learning cybersecurity that I've come across over the last few years. Now, everything is timestamped down below, so if you've already seen one of these and you've already heard of it, then you can skip straight ahead to the ones that you haven't. I've also included a bonus resource at the end, which you should definitely check out and I recommend if you're in the cybersecurity field. So first up, we have Portswigger. Now, Portswigger is a cybersecurity company known for its product Burp Suite which is a web application security testing tool used to identify and fix vulnerabilities in web applications. So why am I mentioning Portswigger? Well, they provide free web security training materials and labs through their platform called Web Security Academy. This academy is basically an online platform that offers practical training on various aspects of web application security. So when you visit the link in the description, you'll see when you scroll down all the different structured learning paths that cover different areas of web security. So you can see examples like web security, common vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and more advanced topics. And you can easily click onto any of these and see that the structured layout is perfect for learning for the first time. They have all the sections split out and it explains everything very nicely and neatly all for someone who hasn't gained previous experience. And then as you do your learning, you can jump into labs to actually put those skills to the test that you've learned and see if you then took that on board. It's really easy and they also provide the solutions if you get stuck. You simply just need to easily flow through the content and just read it as you're going along. They have great notes and it's all very well structured. So I definitely recommend that you check that out and dive through different structured learning paths that they have. Then after this, we have SecurityTube. Now, SecurityTube is an online platform that offers a variety of resources and training materials in the field of information security and mainly ethical hacking. The courses are designed to cater to different skill levels, from beginners to advanced users. So no matter where you are at in terms of your cyber career, it has the amount of videos for you. Just as an example, you can see a Wi-Fi attack defense where they go through network reconnaissance, they also have preferred network list basics, shell code examples, and HTTP basic authentication attacks, which is labeled as very easy. So that's one for you if you're at the beginner level. They also have different videos which cover hack of the day. So if you're really interested in ethical hacking, then this is a resource that I really recommend you check out. Next up, we have one of my favorites, which is Hack the Box. I have covered this in a lot of previous videos, but for anyone that hasn't seen it, Hack the Box is basically an online platform that's designed to offer more of a hands-on practical learning experience rather than the usual format of watching videos and note-taking. So Hack the Box essentially allows you to use a variety of virtual machines and challenges that simulate real world scenarios. So for example, you can connect to a virtual machine and attempt to exploit security vulnerabilities to gain access, escalate privileges and ultimately hack the machine. So when you visit the link, you'll be presented with the initial Hack the Box page and there's loads of different resources on there for different security paths. So you can see, for example, we have the Bug Bounty Hunter or you can just dive through different skill paths that you require. You can easily filter through and just go through different ones like basic tool sets for cybersecurity, cracking into hack the box, local privilege escalation or penetration tester. There's many other courses on there. So I definitely recommend that you check that out no matter what field of cybersecurity you're interested in. And when you dive into these, you can see how they are split out. You can see this one in particular has 191 sections and it's split up by different learning processes. They also have a job applications board on there. So if you're looking at getting in cybersecurity, this will be really useful for you where you can also jump in and apply for the jobs. It's all simply laid out and it splits them up in terms of relevance. Then they also have hack the box certifications. So if you're looking to get more concrete evidence of how you are in cybersecurity, you can conduct one of these certifications. They have them all split out in terms of defensive security analyst or penetration tester and they're really easy to understand and learn more about. Just for example, clicking into this one, you can see how the exam is split out and the differences it covers in terms of modules compared to other certifications. It will also take you through the knowledge domains. So you can see this one covers log analysis, threat hunting, active directory, and you'll then gain a certificate at the end. So I really recommend you jumping into hack the box, no matter what module you're looking to cover. Next up, we then have Future Learn. 
this platform takes a slightly different approach compared to the other ones that I've mentioned today. So what Future Learns does is that it partners with universities and institutions globally to deliver their courses. So within this platform, they encourage more of a social learning environment. So they incorporate discussion forums where you can interact with each other, ask questions and discuss course content. So if you're usually an individual that doesn't like doing something by yourself, then you can use this platform to interact with others globally and ask questions as you're going along. So this is perfect for you if you don't like learning by yourself and just sitting in a room and reading some text for the next 10 weeks. It's more of a situation where you can ask questions and discuss with others as they're going along. If you get stuck, you can ask them how they've ended up doing it, etc, etc. However, one thing to note here is that this is only a seven day free trial. So you can check it out for a week and see how you get along. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue doing it because they do start to charge after that. But just to give you a quick walkthrough here of what you can see on Future Learn in terms of cybersecurity content, you can see they have many different courses by different universities. They have different tracks that you can take depending on where your interest lies. So we have a mix of Coventry University, EC Council and many others. Depending on if you're interested in network security or more advanced cybersecurity training, you can dive into the one that you're interested in. You can see this one particular is approximately 10 weeks at five hours per week, and it's all 100% online at your own pace. You can go through the content here to see exactly what you'll be doing. You can see it talks about cryptography and access controls. You can have a look at the learning outcomes and the experience that's required. So if you're worried about being a beginner, you can easily find out if it's useful for you. Then it will run through the different courses and different content that it will be doing and exactly how long that will take. Then it will also provide you with a certificate to prove you've learned exactly what you've done, where you'll take a short exam at the end. You can see that this one in particular is an introductory level course and it's charged at £36 per month, which will roughly be between $40 to $45 per month. But like I said, it's a seven day free trial. So if you're willing to get out as much information in seven days, then feel free to do so. But after that, they will start to charge. So it depends on how confident you are with gaining the right information out of it. Finally, we then have Try Hack Me. This is also a very well-known platform and is very similar to Hack the Box. So they also have a hands-on interactive approach to learning cybersecurity skills. So it's different from just watching videos. It mainly specializes in areas such as ethical hacking, penetration testing, and information security. They basically offer a lot of structured learning paths and virtual environments that they call rooms that are designed to teach specific cybersecurity concepts. These rooms will consist of a series of tasks and challenges that you'll have to complete to progress and gain practical experience. So you can see on the screen how many different types that they have from penetration tester to SOC to red team to cyber defense or even offensive pen testing. Then they'll also go into description about different modules that they have from Metasploit to phishing to Nmap all the way through to AWS and Linux fundamentals. So I definitely recommend that you have a go through and just see what you're interested in. Just as an example, we'll drive into the junior penetration tester and you can see how the sections are split out. We have an introduction to cybersecurity, then pen testing, then web hacking. They also give a great introduction to real life tools like Burp Suite and Metasploit. So I definitely recommend if you're into getting into cybersecurity, then you need to have a go at Try Hack Me. In the practice section, this is also really good and it bases it on your experience from what you've been learning already in Try Hack Me. They have a featured and popular section where you can dive into different practice scenarios. So you can see a short description underneath. For example, in blue, you have deploy and hack. And then in other ones, you have also similar services available. So I do definitely recommend that you have a go at Try Hack Me if you're getting into cybersecurity and you've not used this resource before. Now, going on to our bonus content, we have here a blog by Daniel, and it's a great blog for cybersecurity content that I've been following myself for the last three to four years, and it's really good for knowing what's happening in the cybersecurity and tech world. Daniel himself is a cybersecurity professional, writer, and speaker known for his expertise in information security technology. You can click the link in my description where you can subscribe to his email, and it's really good for passive learning about cybersecurity. I literally have a skim read of the email for five minutes every week, and it's really great to keep up to date in this way. 
It's not something you have to actively search for. You can see examples of the blogs here and just I'll scroll through it so you can see what type of information you get into your email. It's really good for knowing what's happening in the cyber world and you get Daniel's perspective from it, who is a real expert in this area. So I definitely recommend that you do join that subscription list there. Hopefully that's been useful for you. And if it has, do join our Discord. We have over 800 beginner in cybersecurity individuals in there. And we're always giving hints and tips and just helping each other out in this field so we can all further our careers. If you enjoyed the video, do leave a like. It massively helps the channel out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.